Hello, and welcome back to A Brick Too Short. For Episode 2, I will be reviewing a LEGO set based on Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This set is 7113 Tusken Raider Encounter. came out in 2002 for $10. And it, of course, was a set for Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Now, this scene is probably one of the earliest scenes where you really see Anakin Skywalker starting to lean towards the dark side. To be honest, I've actually never watched this movie the whole way through, but this is one of the scenes I think I've seen, think. But anyways, it comes with young Anakin Skywalker, two sand people, a spook bike, and a moisture vaporator. With that, let's take a closer look at the set. Here we have the sand people. Of course, one in the foreground, you can see one off in the background. Now, the heads are just traditional LEGO heads with sand person printing on it. Of course, today's LEGO sand people, the heads are actually molded to the shape as seen in the movies. I almost like this one better because it's that traditional LEGO look. Now, the torso is nicely done, has two cross belts and some sort of little cylinder thing at the top. The gun is actually just a pirate rifle in black. Start to turn it around. And in 2002, at least for the sand people, they actually have printing on the back. And you can see the continuation of the cross belts. So at least three years into LEGO's making Star Wars sets, they've actually begun to improve on their designs and their printing. And these look fairly decent for the time. Now, here's a full look at the moisture evaporator. And Oxy, I'm getting a little closer for a second. And it's a, it's a nice little detailed piece. Um, fairly simple, but it definitely looks like a moisture evaporator from Star Wars. And with that, let me get a little closer. Here's a closer look at that moisture evaporator. It does actually have a slight play feature, though I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be doing. This does open up. And if I turn on its side, you can see there's a couple of buttons or lights, maybe red for not working, green for working. This is a printed piece, and I think it's supposed to be where the moisture is collecting. And then you have this, I guess it's supposed to be like a switch. Maybe it's not working, you do some work to it, and then reset it, close it up, and I guess it's good to go. Here we have Anakin Skywalker. And his hair piece is the traditional Lego hair piece, but it's in a brownish orange color. And this is the only set I've ever owned with that hair color. His face is simple, but I actually always like this face. His torso just shows his robes. He has his braid still hanging down, so he's not yet a Jedi Knight. He also has a blue lightsaber. Now, the reason I have the cape up is though the sand people have back printing, he doesn't. But it's okay because the cape actually covers up his back most of the time. So this was actually a, a really cool figure for me when I got the set. This of course is Anakin's swoop bike as I call it. You might call it a speeder bike. The reason I call it a swoop bike is because I played Jazz the Empire. And in one of the levels, you actually had to ride one of these out of, I think, most Isley on Tatooine and try and take out a bunch of other guys on the exact same bikes who were trying to either kill or capture Luke. Now, it's actually in a nice dark red color that I thought was really cool. Not a whole lot to say on about it. I'll give you kind of a 360 view. Oh, and of course, the, the swivel part down there in the base, that, that did not come with the set. It's simple, but I feel it does capture the look of that type of bike. Now, one thing about the swoop bike I would like to point out that when I was younger, I think I found it kind of annoying when I played with, but now it's just a display piece, not so much. It's how the front's built. It's a hinge part, and then this piece clips onto there, and that's it. And it, it's a little bit fragile, and these were fragile too and popped off, but it's simple, and it actually works. Again, you know, you probably play with it too much, you, you might, oops, knock it off. 
But hey, it's Lego. And the great thing about Lego, you can just put it right back together. Now, this is a simple set, but remember, it was 2002 and only $10. But you got some cool figures in the form of the Sand People. And don't quote me, but I think this may have been the first set with the Sand People. Of course, Anakin looks pretty good. The Moisture Vaporator looks decent enough. And then the Swoop Bike, again, I think it really looks like a Swoop Bike. So this, this was a good set for its time. And with that, thanks for watching.